Oh boy lads, are we in for a good one today. This video is very interesting, that's why I wanted to cover it as a whole video. Instead of, you know, just a side note on a different video. But, oh man, this, this one is the hugest fish I caught in our list 5 sets of videos. This is the Omega fish we're talking about. We're talking about the hugest fish in the ocean. So let's get into eating it. I read every comment, and for those of you who don't know, this is what the YouTube comments dashboard looks like, that I see every comment regardless of how old the video is, because it's based on when the comment was made. Now YouTube broke a lot of this with Creator Studio, so it's imperfect. Also we have just the filter for spam and hate comments and stuff, so it makes it pretty quick to moderate, just kind of like glance at the comments, see what people are talking about, and yeah, we're, we're good to go right there. Oh, see? It's, it, it works like that. However, that's not what this video is about. just straight up deleted a comment because it said he was trash at the game. <laughs> His ego is so fragile, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, that was hilarious. That was honestly hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, his ego is so fucking fragile. <laughs> Dislike botting Pokemon Sun and Moon days, and we can kind of see how people are receiving the content. Um, it's it's positive. That that's the difference because the Pokemon community, even though I felt it was still pretty bad back then. No, nowhere near as toxic as it is and also just fake and scummy and all that other stuff But I mean like see we can see the excitement that people had so let's go and hit I'm pretty sure he says it's less toxic because you know There's less people exposing him for his scummy actions and also there was no drama with him in those years, so I Don't know. I don't know why he says this even though he's the one that causes the most toxicity in that community so yeah verless why 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 is that why why is there less uh toxicity in the past you know you know the the past where before the drama before you started causing retarded shit to happen in the pokemon community hmm wonder why it was less toxic in the past Hmm. Oh my god, Varlesify, thank you for the compliment. I never used Twitter, thank you. Uh, I feel so special, Varlesify. Oh my god, he complimented me? I was expecting ad hominems or something else, but oh my god, thank you, Varlesify. Thank you very much. And also, uh, did you use Twitter? So, um... I mean, you kind of dissed yourself there, buddy. I, I don't really have to uh, say anything. Please take this L. And the door's right there. Uh, you can leave with that word. So really, there isn't much online presence. And if they fall out of Pokemon, that's just it. So the point I'm making is, it really looks like people aren't leaving my channel. They're leaving Pokemon because I'm like the only place you can go for honest Pokemon content. But eventually, people just don't want to put up with it anymore. There's too much lying, too much cheating, too much stealing. Even if I'm trying to hold it down for all the OG Pokemon fans or the real Pokemon fans out there. You know I could play the montage or something, but you already know he he does all those things. You can watch all my videos and uh, catch up with the Varlithify lore. Even if you aren't watching my videos, you can watch the people that I'm probably going to link in the description to, you know, get caught up on the Verlissify lore. But in other words, he does all this shit. And Pokemon Legends is the new Gen 5 splitting the community, making it worse for everyone again. And the Gen 5 fans and the Pokemon Legend fans represent like a younger, more immature audience, so they're way more toxic than the people that are critical of the games. Where it's like, if you were against Gen 5, you just got attacked, called a Gen 1-er, and bullied 
forever, and now it's the same thing with Pokemon Legends. Pokemon Legends is perfect, and if you say otherwise, then you just get harassed into oblivion, and the people that are like, well, I'm from Gen 1, I've, I'm an OG Pokemon fan, and I don't think Pokemon Legends represents anything that Pokemon should be, and it's not even a right step in the future because Pokemon Sword and Shield did it better, and then you get bullied for that statement. You don't, you don't want to engage with Pokemon anymore. You get I'm pretty sure he's trying to, like, project himself without saying, I'm getting bullied because my opinions on Legends Arceus, even though I state them as a fact. Like, fuck you, Verlissify. You say everything as a fact. Like, goddamn. Oh my god, I'm getting bullied by the Gen 5 and Gen... Whatever Arceus is. Uh, this fandom is crazy shit, even though, you know, you're the one that kind of... Triggered a few people, not to mention people can look at opinions and be like, yeah, that's wrong. But you state your opinions like it's a fact, which is completely different from, you know, actual facts of the game. You can say, oh no, my opinion, I think Legends Arceus in Gen 5 is bad. That's your opinion, what the fuck ever, I don't really give a shit. But when you say that as a fact, like, This is DEFINITELY the worst game ever, hard to die. It makes people want to punch you in the dick. Repeatedly, until you start bleeding. But, you know, if you said, Oh, this is my opinion, it would have been different. It would have been, like, completely different. But, you know, Farless Fight is kind of stupid that way. You know? He's just really stupid, like, yeah, I can see why some people wouldn't like Legends, but if you say a fact that it's trash, that's not really a fact. It's more like a garbage opinion. Opinion that I would be, like, okay to. But if you state it as a fact, I'm gonna say no. That's completely wrong. The thing is, back in 2016, as we were going to Pokemon Go, trivia and theory content was popping. Everyone loved that, even like 2017 as well. Top 10s fell out of the YouTube meta for fake challenges, fake randomizers, shout out to Poketips, fake leaks, and fake reactions. And then, yeah, yeah, like when that's the content and everything has a stupid fake reaction face in the thumbnail, no one wants to engage with it anymore unless you're an actual child. And that is. Man, this fucker is so butthurt over any Poketuber that's more famous than him. <laughs> He's so fucking butthurt, oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe these people and their totally fake reactions. One sec, I got, I, I got a totally real reaction to Legends Arcus. <laughs> Bad game. Like, seriously, you're not fake. Uh, come on, come on. You're the fakest one I ever fucking watched. Like, goddamn. You're, like, extremely fake compared to anyone else I ever watched. You're 100% fake, like prank channels. Like, oh my god, can he be more hypocritical? This is the problem. I said that, like, the only way that YouTube can be fixed at this point is that if Copa is enforced. And cracking down on fake content because clickbait and deceptive practices are against the YouTube TOS. Uh, one way I think about this, I don't have a way of transitioning to it, because Joe Merrick has me blocked on Twitter on my private Twitter account that doesn't tweet one after he witch hunted me to expose my twi private tw Twitter account that just exists to follow Pokemon news, because again, he's a bad person. But he says this after, you know, reading YouTube's TOS. Oh my god, the irony! <laughs> the irony is so great! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> he says this after, you know, being like, Oh, this is against YouTube's terms of service while well, he breaks Twitter's term of service by ban evading. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious! That is fucking hilarious! <laughs> Zero thought was put into this video, I swear! <laughs> oh gee, you better follow the rules of YouTube, I'm gonna break the rules of Twitter! <laughs> he put no thought into this video, 100%. I, I'm, I'm fully convinced, he's just either... 
you know, doing this out of pure pettiness or doing this because he's drunk. I cannot, I cannot think he's serious during this video. It's, <laughs> this is hilarious right here. Peak comedy. Okay, bro, that's fine. You get a gold star for making me laugh twice. It's just that society has gotten crazier and crazier. And as you can see, that just kind of leeches into everything, but it also drives people, again, reasonable people, off the internet, and everything just kind of gets worse. So really, it is just kind of like a boiling off of the good and leaving everything bad, both on, like, just social media in general, but especially in the Pokemon community. And it's, uh, it's a shame, because I'm not fake. I'm not going to lie, cheat, and scam to get more people to like me, like you see with A-Drive, Austin John, every other Pokemon content creator. <laughs> he actually does all these things if you count his Discord being, you know, paid for instead of free. You know, unlike every other Poke YouTuber, so you know he's scamming his fans. He's scamming his fans to join his shitty cult. We we all know this. You can watch a bunch of videos on how he treats his fans. We we all know his Discord is a scam, so yeah, he does all these things. Let me describe what I'm skipping over here after the politics shit. OMG, if you don't have your public badge and don't comment on every single video, you're not a true fan because fan means fanatic, blah blah blah, bullshit. Like, fuck Verlissify, you're really hating your fans here, you know? Like, at least I treat the people that I know are watching like actual human beings. You treat them like trash. So get fucked. Because I was, I was seeing the writing on the wall where I'm like, oh yeah, now pe people found out that Pokemon's got some good money in it, huh? Oh, they also found out that you have to slander me to get your foothold in, and then like, for for all that attention. And Ah uh, yes, I, I love slandering Verlisvi. Oh man, I, I love showing no evidence of my claims and uh, just slandering. Oh my. That's my favorite pastime. I, I just love slandering people. No, I'm gonna slander PewDiePie. If you couldn't tell that was actually a joke, but fuck. I gotta love how he says, oh, people slander me, even though there's evidence to everyone's claims, except his. So, uh, where's the proof, Verlis Fight? Where, where the fuck are people slandering you? Because I'm just showing evidence that I have in commentating over your videos. Which is more proof than, you know, a screen just being black. And showing nothing like you're doing. But hey, anyways, this is the end of the video because the rest of the video is just him being like, Other people are bullshit. Instead of, you know, am I the problem that I'm having a bad time? No, it must be other people. So anyways, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye-bye.